in the late 80s and early 90s, many of my friends got jumped walking home from gay pubs. Queer bashing was sadly a thing. Gay guys were just seen as a, as a soft touch. It happened to me, I'd been working as a solicitor in Manchester and I'd been sent away um, on business. And I walked out of this gay pub, um, minding my own business on my own, and suddenly this guy was all over me, just punching me. And I had no idea why, other than he'd seen me walking out of this pub. I got to the point where I didn't really like going out. A few years later, I moved to Paris and found out there was a LGBT karate club and joined that. And that kind of opened my eyes because I'd never been to an LGBT sports club before. You can't just be a victim, can you? You feel like you've got to try and do something and get a bit more streetwise and uh, learn to defend yourself. I came back to the UK. I thought we really need to have a LGBT boxing club. That was 2016. Today, the London-based Knockout LGBTQ Plus Boxing Club, which was co-founded by Phil, has over 200 members. Its classes are open to people of all genders and sexualities, regardless of their ability. Back as a, a gay teenager in the 80s, so there's no way you would have joined a, a boxing club um, or even really got that involved in sport. I sort of came out quite late, age of 24, which I think is quite normal for a lot of bisexual people especially. I came out to the club before I came out anywhere else really, other than to my girlfriend. It provided a space for me where I could try a sport which I'd been curious about um, and also sort of be authentic with everyone. It's quite difficult to find boxing spaces that are, you know, very welcoming of women, let alone LGBT plus people. As women and as lesbians, you know, we get a lot of everyday kind of like homophobia in the street. We need outlets to let out our anger. Um, I think we're not given the opportunities to express our anger enough in everyday life. And boxing is a really healthy, fun way to come and do that. Vote for. It's become something that I really love, and now it's, it's a, a big part of what I do. It's pushed me. I mean, I've been beaten up in fights, <laughs> um, and I've won fights. It's a really nice place to come and box, and you can sort of just forget about, like, your identity. I feel as though I wouldn't have achieved any of that or, or gone through the sort of ego-humbling process of training if it wasn't for this, for this club.